question number six, which says, a bag contains six red counters. Two counters are picked from the bag at random without replacement. A. Represent this event using a tree diagram. Now, how do you draw this for a tree diagram? Okay. Remember, the first thing it says is this bag, um, um, the bags were picked without replacement. Now, when you hear it was picked without replacement, it means when I pick the, um, the, the bag from the counter, I don't replace it. There is no replacement. Okay, so now to draw the tree diagram. So let's call this our red and this will be our blue. So remember, the probability of picking um, our red is going to be 6 over the total, that's 10. Why the probability of picking a blue will be 4 over 10. Okay, so now in this case, two bags, let's assume uh, this is the first time if he picks a red, it's 6 over 10. Now, let's assume the second one he's picking is a red and the second one is, or, or he could either pick a blue. Remember, he could pick a red and he could pick a blue. If he picks a red, remember, he did not replace the ball, the, the bag. So, instead of having 6, we'll now have 5. We now have five. Now, and remember, because he removed one, the remainder, the total remaining is now nine. Okay. Now, at this point, remember the blue was still remaining four, but the total ball was now nine. Okay. So to draw this three diagram here, let's call this our red. This is our blue. When he picked a blue, it was four. Remember, the red is still remaining five, and the total ball has reduced to five over nine. Why here? We now have um we now have instead of having four we have three over nine so this is the tree diagram now the big question says find the probability that the two counters picked are of the same color they are of the same color now probability of picking same color is going to be now is either he pick a red and a red or he pick a blue and a blue so any of this condition is possible but for him to pick two colors that are same assuming the question says two red colors then we know we're dealing with red or he said two blue colors we know we're dealing with blue but this time he says same color and we have two possible colors so you could either pick a red and a red or a blue and a blue now to pick a red and a red means to pick a red is 6 over 10 now to pick a second red it's 5 over 9 remember from our tree diagram we said to pick a second red would be 5 over 9 now remember in probability when you have all it's the same thing as what plus so here will be to pick the first blue will be 4 over 10 and the second blue is going to be 3 over 9 now that means 6 times 5 is um 30 over we have um 90 Plus, here we have 12 over 90. Now, this is going to give us a 42 over 90. Now, what can divide in between um, 42 and 90? I think 6 can go through. 6 into 42, it's going to be 7. Now, 6 into 90, 6 into 9, we have 1. And then 3, 6 into 30, we have 5. So, our final answer is going to be 7 over 15. That took us to question 7 which says, find the coordinate of the turning point of the curve y is equal to x squared minus 14x plus 10. Okay, so now to get the turning point, now you have to differentiate your y. We have to look for dy over dx. Yeah. So we, are, we have to differentiate um, this, the y variable. So this is going to give us a um, 2x minus 14 okay so it's 2x minus 14 now to get the turning point at the x we have to equate our um dy equate dy over let dy over dx be zero this is going to be 2x minus 14 equal to zero 
this will now be 2x is equal to 14 and therefore at this point x will be 14 divided by 2 that will give us 7. So to get our y variable put y put x in y okay so remember our x is 7 so we have y will be x squared minus 14x plus 10. So this will be um y will now be so wherever we have um x we'll put seven so this will be seven square minus 14 times seven plus 10. so this will be y will be um, this is going to be seven square will give us um 49 minus 14 times seven 14 times seven seven times four is 28 eight carry two seven times one is seven plus two that's nine so this will give us um 98 plus 10. So y is going to be 49 plus 10. That's um 59. We always do the addition before the subtraction. So this is going to be 59 minus 98. So um 98 minus 59. So um, let's do that with our calculator. So that's 59 minus 98 and that will give us a minus 39 so y is going to be minus 39 so our turning point coordinate x comma y is going to be 7 comma minus 39 okay so that is exactly how to do it so the first thing you need to do is find the dy over dx for the equation y equate it to zero get your x variable Put back what you got as your x into the equation to get your y. So that will take us to question um, 8, which says... Okay, question 8 says, OAB is a sector of a circle of radius RCM. Angle AOB is equal to 60 degree. Find in its simplest form an expression in terms of r and pi for the perimeter of the sector. Okay, the question says we should find the perimeter of the sector, but we should find it in terms of r and pi. Now, how do you get the perimeter of the sector? When you delve back into what you were taught in perimeter, remember the perimeter is add all the sides of the shape. Now, first of all, to get um, the perimeter, um, we need to get the perimeter uh, to get the perimeter of this sector. Perimeter of sector it's going to be now remember this is what r this is the radius this is the radius now we have the radius plus another radius plus length of arc a b okay so this is going to be 2r plus length of arc a b now this is going to be 2r plus our length of arc is theta over 360 times 2 pi r. Okay, now this is going to give us um, um 2r plus now our angle is what 60 over 360 times 2 pi r. This is going to be 2r plus 60 over 360 is the same thing as um 1 over 6 because the zero is going to cancel out 6 into 36 is that so times 2 pi r so we have 2 r plus 2 pi r over 6 now remember the question says find in its simplest form so this is not the simplest form of this so we're going to form um um this is going to be 2 r plus 2 into 6 is going to be um pi r over 3. So let's create an LCM. This is LCM 3. So 3 into 1 is 3. 3 times 2R is going to give us 6R plus 3 into 3 is 1 and times pi R will give us pi R. So we we'll have um, 6R plus pi R over 3. Now what is common here? R is common. So we're going to have R into 6 plus pi all over 3 as our final answer. Now, this is the simplest form we can get that. So, um, that's how to find this in terms of R and pi. Like, if you've not hit the subscribe button, please hit the subscribe button because we're going to be releasing several videos to teach you 
um, the paper two KCSE, and also do make a time to check out our previous videos on paper one so you can stay updated with us.